First of all, what you're going to want to do is download a copy of the iTunes firmware 1.1.1 in the link that I provide for you at the right. Just click the link and a window should pop up that looks kind of like this and just enter those three letters into the space and click download. Then once the timer thing is up, you should see a free download button and click that and save it to a place on your computer that's easy to access such as your desktop. And it should look something like this once you've downloaded it. Once that file is done downloading, just go into iTunes and go into your iPod. Hold down shift on your keyboard. And while holding shift, click check for update or update, whichever one you might have. Then a window like this should pop up. And you should look for the iTunes firmware that we downloaded earlier. And just click it. And click open. Then once you click that, it will put your app out through a series of updates, such as extracting software, um, preparing iPod for software update, um, opt updating iPod software, verifying updated iPod software, updating iPod firmware, and then a message like this will pop up and click OK. Or just wait it out. Now that your iPod is done rebooting, you are now running iPod firmware 1.1.1